All right, everybody, welcome to it, and thank you for tuning in right here with your boy, DJ Sparks, broadcasting live from the only Dragon Fire Studios right here on Sparks Radio. And, man, we got a treat for you guys today. We got Kanal LeBron in the building, man. What's happening, dog? Yo, what's cracking, man? Yeah, yeah, it's all good, man. Hey, man, we definitely appreciate you coming through, following through with us, man, you know. So tell us a little bit about Kanal LeBron, man. How'd you get the name, first of all, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, if that's your birth name, you know, it's all good, too. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. tell us a little bit about, you know what I'm saying, how you got started in the game, man. Uh, well, basically, Kanal LeBron uh, is uh, just my rap name that I came up with when I was about 14 years old. Mm -hmm. And my first rap name ever was uh, Caution. Okay. And there was already a rapper out there named Caution. Mm -hmm. So, like, I kind of built a kind of uh, rapport with people around my city and just freestyling with that name. And I changed my name to Anonymous because um, the rapper was already named Caution. Mm -hmm. But everybody was like, man, we fuck with Caution. You know, yeah. like, you got to keep that. So, for like a minute, I just kind of combined, or after a minute, I combined both the names, Cost, the KA from Caution and the Anon from Anonymous. Oh. We came up with Kanan, and then LeBron just kind of came later with freestyling and just, you know, kind of added that in. And, like, when I was 19, just, you know, kind of LeBron, LeBron James a rap. Me and him are the same age, so um, just kind of always kind of saw a parallel with him, you know what I'm saying? Part That's tight, him. man. I like the way you put that together. That's hot, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's fire, man, right there. Sure. Man, what a concept, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Wow, man. Yeah. Anonymous and then LeBron James. So you... You knew you was gonna be the greatest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hard work. I feel you, man. I feel you. So let me let me ask you this, man, because uh, I I bring a lot of artists into the studio, a lot of rappers, uh, a lot of R and B artists, things of that nature. So in this day and age, man, what do you think the rap game? Uh, how do you think it is? Do you think it's more watered down now? Do you think it's not any more real MCs? I mean, what's your take on what's today's rap about? I think that music is art and like where you come from, it doesn't matter if you're mumbling or you're rapping lyrically or you're writing for philosophical rap or you're just kind of saying, yeah, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, you know, on, on, I mean, basically what you're influenced by and where you come from, that's going to come out in your music. Okay. So I don't really, I mean, I have a thing that says fuck mumble rap, but I really, I realistically won't say fuck mumble rap for reals. Mm -hmm. Like, like I say fuck mumble rap, like we need to be more like intellectual with hip hop. Hip hop started out as like being educational and inspirational and mm -hmm. uplifting. And like, if you listen to like Gangstar, Public Enemy, yeah. people like that, you know, and, and the old school MCs, yeah. you know, KRS-One, you yeah, know, they're yeah. gonna teach you something. Then it got, you know, kind of gangster affiliated, but that, then again, you know, where your environment is, you know, all that West Coast rap, they were in the hood, they were in the ghetto. Yeah. And, you know, so I, I, to answer your question, no, I don't think, I mean, I think hip hop is in a great place. I think yeah. that there's enough balance mm -hmm. between MCs and like artists that kind of like express themselves through like you know, beats and feeling good mm -hmm. versus like people that take it really fucking serious, like yeah. fucking Immortal Technique and, yeah. you know, artists like that. Then you've got like Lil Yachty who's like, man, I'm just here to have a good fucking time. Yeah. And I think we could learn a lot from both sides. Yeah. You know, so I think yeah. hip hop's in a good fucking place. Like, yeah. I think it's like growing. I think, you know, there's new generations of artists coming out. You got Lil Pump and all them. And yeah. I ain't never hating on them because, like I said, they're going by what they what they were exposed to. Yeah, the environment. Yeah. And then like you hear like um Travis Scott saying Kid Cuddy's his favorite rapper. Yeah. And I'm fucking yeah. I'm thirty fucking three. <laughs> and I'm like, Kid Cuddy, like, man, Tupac's my favorite fucking yeah. rapper. You know what I'm saying? So like yeah. just it's just a it's a it's a influence and it's a, yeah. it's a beautiful thing. I think it's in a beautiful place. I don't I don't dis diss it at all. You know? Yeah, I feel you man, I feel you. So what what is your um style of of music i mean because you know i listen to a couple of your tracks man i mean you got some fire stuff we're gonna play one of them heats here in a little bit Hell but yeah. what what is your style of uh of, of hip-hop you know what i'm saying i mean what what where did you derive your style from i know you like tupac you know what I'm saying? so is it kind of like that, that that type of style or yeah definitely my style comes from the west coast okay but it evolved <laughs> by the by the east coast okay because I, I grew up in washington state i was born in colorado 
I moved to Washington State when I was five. Okay. Lived there for 10 years, moved back when I was like 15. And growing up in Washington, we only fuck with West Coast rap. Yeah. So we listen to E-40, we listen to Tupac, Selly Cell, Be yeah. Legit, um, you know, Mac Dre, you know, N.W.A., Cube, Pac. You know, we don't, we didn't listen to East Coast rap. Then when I, when I was like 14, I moved to Colorado, back to Colorado, uh -huh. and everybody was listening to Wu-Tang and, yeah. you know, fucking with Nas and, and all Outcast. that. So, like, all that and yeah. Outkast yeah. and, and all that, you know, Trick Daddy and, yeah. and Trina and just... Just over time, man, just my style evolved from both sides. So, like, even on my on my Facebook page and on my site, it says a mixture of East and West because, like, I just... You just gel the both together. Yeah. I got you and came up with your stuff. Kind of well, it's fire, time. man. Yeah. I mean, it's fire because I, I peep your videos. I've been listening to your stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? So, we're going we gonna to definitely get it in. And then we want to use uh, utilize some of your videos, too, in the, um, um, in the edit that we do for the video. You know what I'm saying? So, we'll make sure we promote you. You know, just uh, coming up, man. We oh, yeah. Said it, man. So, yeah, yeah. So, tell everybody, you got a show coming up pretty soon? Yeah, we got two big shows coming okay. up, actually. Uh, this weekend, we're performing at the Ogden Theater. Okay. Uh, on downtown Denver, or not downtown Denver, I'm sorry, on Colfax. Yeah, yeah. Um, with Snow the Product. Oh, Snow the Product coming to town. What? Yeah, man. Wow. So get woke, That's man. hot. Take your vibe a little higher, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's hot, man. Okay. Yeah, okay, and when's that concert? It's uh, Friday night at the Ogden Theater, December 7th. So oh, okay. Okay. Make sure y'all come out, man. Let me okay. know, holler if you want to come through. I'll get you a media pass. Okay. Man. I got you. I got you, man. Appreciate so, yeah, you, man. And the next day, we're performing in Fort Collins with her at the Aggie Theater. Okay, so you finally still still the product around yeah, pretty so, much. Wow, yeah, I'm kind of doing a little two-day kind of little two-day run with her. So. Oh, okay. Okay. That's cool. You That's know? fire, man. That's all right. But how'd you get hooked up with that? How'd you get hooked up with Stone Product? Uh, she's just my homie. I met her at a show a few years ago. Yeah. Uh, hit her uh, hit her management up, you know. Me and her kind of always kept a good, like, friendly, you know, business relationship. Was yeah. Always, like, really cool with me. Really cool to her. She always let me into shows and okay. um, she actually was at Summer Jam a couple years ago and gave me and DJ Illumination free passes. Oh nice. You know, her her brother uh Edo, shout out to Edo, he's really cool. Yeah. You know, he uh, he hooked us up and um you know, just I got good rapport with her and her team. And um, you know, over time we just built good a good relationship and then we did a song together actually called Worldwide. Okay. And that song, you know, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Spotify, uh pretty much everywhere. And so I got a song out with her and just, you know, I've just got a good relationship with her. And then I've opened up for her three times, once in Denver, twice in Foco. And, okay. you know, all three times we had a successful uh, outcome. Okay. So, you know, from now on, or now when she comes to Colorado, you know, she shows me some love and throws me, throws me a little bone. And, I feel you, know, you man. Lets me, lets me rock it with her. So. That's all right, man. Well, we definitely got to get some product on, man. So, yeah. Called the management, hooked that one up for me, man. Yeah, I mean, it was a I phone call. I see what you I know what I'm saying? Do. I get on the phone and do an interview. It's all good, man. Yeah, yeah she fight. She, they, they, they're fire people, man. So, yeah, 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 they're good people. So, definitely shout out to Snow the Product and all our team. All right, appreciate you, man. Now, for those of you just tuning in right now, this is your boy DJ Sparks broadcasting live from the all new Dragon Fire Studio here with Kanan LeBron right here live in the studio, baby. Thank you guys for tuning in. So, um, Give out your social media networks and how people can get in contact with you, booking information if they want to book you for a show, things of that nature. Yeah, uh, pretty much all my uh, social media accounts are the same. Uh, my Twitter, though, is KL, at KLM2D4. What's that stands for? It's Kadon LeBron Music To Die For. Okay. And To Die For is kind of my label, you know, that okay. we're starting. And uh, it's, it's not To Die For Records. It's not To Die For Entertainment. Mm -hmm. It's just To Die For. Okay. And, um, yeah, so you can get, me, get in my Twitter with that. Kanan LeBron Music on my Instagram, Kanan LeBron Music on Facebook, um, and then if you go to Twitter, or I'm sorry, if you go to SoundCloud or Reverb Nation, it's just Kanan2D4. Okay, okay. Um, so yeah, you can check out all my music there. If you go to KananLeBron.com, you can get a free download. Okay. And all my links are at KananLeBron.com. You can get everything there. And pretty much KananLeBron.com is an epicenter, yeah. and then everything webs out from there. You can go up to all my sites and everything. Okay, all right. So let me ask you this, man. Who is it in your life, whether they're alive or dead, that you would want to most collaborate with on the song? I'd have to say, are we talking rap or music overall? Music, period. Mm, that's a good one. Uh, I couldn't, I, if I have to pick one, um, 
it, it'd probably be Tupac. Yeah, that's what I kind of figured. I didn't mean to be so cliche and yeah. so kind of or dull, you know? Yeah, it's all good. Like, that dude just, you know, it, just what he was, who he was, what he did, and uh, everything he's done for me, man, just that that would be my ultimate collab, you know? Yeah, yeah everything he's done for the for the state of hip-hop, period, you know what I'm saying? I mean, the ultimate street poet. You know what I mean? Big shout out to Tupac, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got an opportunity to interview him way back in the day, and also got the chance to do a song with Biggie, so I got a chance to, you know, collab with them both, actually. But, That's amazing. Uh, yeah, yeah, man. So it was a part of history that you're yeah. a part of, you know? Yeah, yeah, it was a wonderful part of history, man. I mean, I got a chance to, to actually get a chance to kind of, you know, rough shoulders with them both, so it was awesome, man. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. cool. And like I said, I couldn't just pick one. Like, I picked Big. Big's right there with him. So. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Right, I got love for <laughs> Big, man, too. So. I already know, man. Both of them, man. Yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. Well, man, we want to thank you for coming on to the show, bro. And let me do this, man, because I got, I got a song that um, I picked uh, that's kind of like one of my favorites that you did, man. You know Ooh. what I'm saying? And uh, it's that uh, uh, Teardrops, man. Let's talk a little bit about that. How did you come up uh, with that song? Yeah, cause it's fire, the beast fire. Then when you come out, you know if you close your eyes, you sound like Tupac. You know what I'm saying on that one. So yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. So I was like, man, what did you have to come up with that one? Now? You know, uh, to be honest with you, I can't even lie to my listeners. You know that that song's a little a few couple years older. Yeah. And um, you know, it was when I was getting free beats off of SoundCloud. Yeah. You know, and I just found that beat and I fell in love with it. Yeah. Well, you, and, you um, killed it. <laughs> yeah, man. I went home. I wrote the verse. And I th thank you for that. I appreciate yeah. that. But I went home, I, I wrote the verse, and um, wrote the other verse, and recorded the track, and just, you know, just dropped it, man. And just, yeah, I mean, maybe this, the essence of Pac, the spirit of Pac was upon me, but yeah. you know, not in you, know, but, you know, just maybe I had that vibe going with me. And, uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's one of my, probably mo one of my most heartfelt tracks. Yeah, know? yeah, so what was going through your, your head at that time? As you were writing that, man, because the lyrics are deep, Not bro. depression, but just being down and yeah. out, you know? Like, I saw a lot of other artists doing big shit, you know? Yeah. And I wasn't doing shit, and I was, like, kind of stuck and, you know, uh, just kind of down, you know? Like I said, yeah. stressed out, feeling left out. Yeah. You know, when I'm down and out, that's when I got to pull my best out. Yeah, my yeah, mom, that's my line. Boy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's so, like, like, yeah, man, just, you know, and, and a little bit of, you know, just going through what human beings go through, you know, the low yeah. points and the, the sad times and, you know, just seeing other people being successful, it made me just be hungry for that, you know? And yeah. the second verse about, is more personal, it's more about, you know, really trusting God. Yeah. And, um, you know, there was a, a pause between both of those verses. Like, I wrote the first verse and then I didn't write the second verse till some time later. Oh, okay. And I had gone through some things spiritually and emotionally and just mm -hmm. with my girl and my kids and, yeah. you know, and just, it was crazy. And then um, when I wrote the second verse, it was kind of like a spiritual awakening moment in my music where, you know, I was just saying, I talked to God and I know he's there. Yeah. The Bible says, you know, I give a man more than he can bear. Please be with this negative energy that's in the air. Yeah. You know, depression and anxiety, I'm going through it all. But, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's fine, like just that's all that. Fine. Yeah. So I mean, uh, I appreciate that. It's yeah. just like, yeah, man. So like, that that's what I was going through. That's kind of what it was. And um, just all my listeners out there could listen to the track and know that it was a low point and seeing other people doing big shit. And if you see yeah. other people doing big shit, you know, don't ever hate on them. Don't ever doubt yourself. Just you know, study them. You know, pick yourself up. You know, and, and keep going and, and keep fighting and keep and and you know, pretty soon, you know, one step in front of the other, you're doing something, and then something turns into something more, and something yeah. more turns into something bigger, and then pretty soon you're doing big stuff too, and now I'm opening with snow and yeah, know, shit like that. So, you know, I came from nothing to something, and everyone out there can do that too. You just got to believe and just do it, you know? Absolutely. Positive vibe, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate that, man. You know, some of my listeners need to hear that. So, man, once again, give out your social media networks, and now they can get in contact with your website, all that stuff right there, and we're going to get into this song. Much love. Yeah, KanaLeBron.com, uh, Twitter, follow me at KLM2D4, uh, SoundCloud, Reverb Nation, uh, backslash K-A-N-O-N-2D4, uh, uh, Instagram and fucking Facebook, KanaLeBron Music. So yeah, I'll let you boy, and then KanaLeBron.com. 
Make sure you hit that shit up. That's the epicenter. So, All right, man. We appreciate it. All so right. Sparks. Yeah, yo, well, everybody right here. This is the Kanan LeBron. Teardrops right here on Sports Radio. Yo, let's get it. Everything's gonna be okay. 